Hello everyone, this is Ricardo from the Fitness Center. Uh, we hope you're doing well, you're staying safe, healthy, uh, and active as possible. Um, we know it's difficult right now, especially because you're limited on where you can go and what you can do. So to help with that, the team and I have started putting together some videos for you to be able to follow along and work out at home. In the videos, you'll see us using some equipment that we have here at the Fitness Center, um, but at home, feel free to use either just body weight or you can use bags, you can use cans, you can use baskets, whatever you feel might work and is appropriate for you and for each exercise. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at 312-238-5001. Uh, this first video you'll see is a simple one. You'll follow along for the full set and then repeat the video as many times as you'd like. Um, we hope to have more for you in the coming weeks and we'll do our best to cover as many topics as possible. Uh, thank you everyone, the team misses you and we can't wait to see you all soon. For the heads up, we're going to look up towards the ceiling, moving your head backwards. Careful not to arch your back and focus only on lifting your head. Hold it for three, two, one. Now bring your head back down and start looking down towards your lap, moving your head forward. We're going to hold for three, two, one. Bring it all the way back up, looking up towards the ceiling again. Three, two, one. Back down towards your lap. Three, two, one. Back up. Three, two, one. Back down. Three, two, one. Back up. Three, two, one, back down. Three, two, one, last one up. Three, two, one, back down. Three, two, one. For the ear touch, we're gonna keep our shoulders low and looking straight ahead. Uh, touch your head sideways, trying to touch your ear to your left shoulder. Hold for three. Two, one, now we're gonna come back up and let's go over to the right. For three, two, one, back to the left. For three, two, one, back to the right. Three, two, one, back to the left. Three, two, one, to the right. Three, Two, one, to the left. Three, two, one, to the right. Three, two, one, and one more to the left. Three, two, one, and to the right. Three, two, one. For the head turns, you're gonna turn your head to the left, making sure to look to the left with your eyes as your head turns. Careful not to turn your body and focus only on turning your head. Hold for three, two, one. Now come back, let's go over to the right. Remember to bring your eyes with for three, two, one. Back to the left. For three, two, one. To the right. Three. Two, one, to the left. Three, two, one, to the right. Three, two, one, to the left. Three, two, one, to the right. Three, two, one, last one. Three, two, one, to the right. Three, two, and one. For the shoulder shrugs, we're gonna begin sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna roll your shoulders up and around as if to draw circles with your shoulders. Uh, going around, start small and try to get bigger each time. Making sure you're going through the full range of motion, all the way up, all the way forward, all the way down, all the way back. We're gonna keep this going for about another 10 seconds. Go three, two, 
one. Now let's reverse directions and let's go backwards. So same thing, we're gonna go up. We're gonna pull the shoulders back, going around, drawing circles with those shoulders. Nice work. We're gonna go about another 10 seconds here. All right, making sure we're going through the full range every time. Good, give me three, two, one. For arm circles, you're gonna extend your arms out to your sides, up to shoulder height, keeping the arms nice and straight. Begin moving them forward and around as if to draw circles with your fingertips. Start small and slowly start getting bigger and bigger as you move through the range. Try to go through the entire range of motion as best you can. And as we do this, let's try to speed it up a little bit. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Now let's come back to the start, arms out to the side, nice and straight. And let's reverse that motion, so let's go backwards. Nice and easy, we're gonna start off small, start off slow, and then let's get a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Let's go a little quicker. A little quicker. Good, let's go five, four, three, two, one. For the stationary running arms, you're gonna bend your elbows at your sides and begin moving them forward and backwards as if you were running. Alternate which arm goes forward and back. Try to keep your posture upright and keep the shoulders down. Start slow and then start to get a little bit quicker. Good, a little bit quick, quicker. Keeping the elbows bent the whole time. A little quicker. A little quicker. For the overhead press, we're gonna start by picking up our dumbbells. Uh, you can use weights or cans, anything you have available to you, or you can just use body weight. You're gonna hold the weight just above your shoulders, palms facing forward. As you breathe out, you're gonna press the weight up towards the ceiling, making sure to keep your shoulders down. Return to start, leading with your elbows and not letting your hands fall forward. We're gonna go back up, bringing it back down, making sure to keep our posture, Press up. Good, back up. Remember to breathe throughout. That's about halfway there, let's keep it going. Don't let those hands fall forward as they start to get tired. Two more. Last one. For the chest press, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells. Then you scoot forward as far as you can in your chair safely, uh, making sure you're in a sturdy chair or leaning up against something that's sturdy. Uh, you're gonna lean back. If you want a little bit of a core workout, you can always just lean back without leaning on anything. You're gonna bring your hands to your chest palms facing forward. Then as you breathe out, you're gonna press the dumbbells towards the ceiling. Bring it back. Good, and then press up again. Good, making sure that we're not letting the hands fall, that there, it's a nice straight line up and down. Good, remembering to breathe throughout the motion. Few more here. Last two. Last one. For the bent over row, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells or whatever weights you have available. You're gonna hold the weights at your sides with straight arms. You're gonna lean forward, keeping your back nice and flat, head and neck straight. Then you're gonna pull your elbows up towards the ceiling, squeezing your shoulder blades together as you lift, returning. And we're gonna go again, raise it up, bring it back down. Trying to keep those elbows nice and tight to your sides.
squeezing those shoulder blades as you lift and trying not to pick up your torso as you lift. Good, about halfway there, let's keep it going. Good, give me two more here. Last one. Good. So we're gonna pick up our weights for the little diagonal raise. You're gonna start sitting up nice and tall with your arms at your sides. You're gonna raise the weight in front of you at about 45 degrees up to shoulder height with your palms facing each other. We're gonna lower back down, keeping those shoulders relaxed. We're gonna go up and down, trying to keep that same position throughout. Remember to breathe. So breathing out as you raise, breathing in as you lower. Okay, about halfway there. Nice try, try to keep those elbows straight, don't let them bend. Good, give me two more. And last one. For the lateral raise, We'll pick up our dumbbells or our weights, whatever you have available to you, or with no weight if needed. You can start sitting up tall with your arms at your sides. You're gonna raise the weights out to your sides with your palms facing forward, raise to shoulder height, and then lower back down. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed so you don't shrug as you raise the weights. Remembering to breathe throughout. So breathing out as you raise, Breathing in as you lower. Good, about halfway there. Nice work, don't let those elbows bend. Give me two more. And last one. For the bent over reverse fly, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells or whatever weights you have available to you or just body weight if you prefer. You're gonna hold the weight at your sides with straight arms. You can lean forward, keeping your back nice and flat, and your head and neck straight. You're gonna lift your arms up to your sides as if you were a bird and bring them back down. You can go back up, trying to keep your elbows locked, squeezing those shoulder blades together as you lift. Remembering to breathe, Good work. Try not to pick your torso up as you lift. A few more here. And last one. For the bicep curls, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells or whatever weight you have available to you. Fur, no weight. You're gonna hold the weight out to the sides with palms facing forward. You're gonna bend your elbows to bring your hands towards your shoulders. Return and repeat. Try to avoid swinging the arms up and down and using momentum. Keep it a nice controlled motion throughout, breathing in and out. Good work, about halfway there. Remember to move through the entire range of motion all the way up, all the way down every time. Give me two more. And last one. For the tricep overhead extension, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells or whatever weights you have available to you, body weight if you prefer. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna bring the weight in both hands overhead keeping your elbows tight to your ears. Uh, you're gonna lower the weight behind your head from the elbows. Bring the weight back up, making sure to only move from the elbows and not from your shoulders. You can do your best to keep your elbows tight to your ears. Now if you feel like two dumbbells or two weights is too much, you can always do just one at a time or none. Good, remembering to breathe. Good, don't let those elbows fall forward. Keep them upright, almost there. 
Good, remember to go through the full range of motion every time. Give me two more. Last one. For the hay balers, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells or whatever weights you have available to you. No weights if you prefer. You're gonna start sitting up tall. You're gonna hold the weight in both hands off to your left side. Keeping your elbows locked, you're gonna raise the weight diagonally across your body as if you were trying to throw it. Rotating from the trunk and return. Repeat that motion. Making sure you're rotating from the trunk, not from the arms. Breathing as you move. Get about halfway there. A few more here. Keep those elbows locked out, don't let them bend. Last two. Last one. Now let's switch sides. So we'll go down to the right, and then you're gonna rotate up to the left, and back down. Once again, keeping those elbows locked out, rotating from your trunk, not from the arms. Breathing as you lift and lower. Let's go a few more here. Last two. Last one. 